at Observe, we had Salesforce, but I would just go into a report where I just take all the forecast data once a week and I just download it to Excel. And then I would kind of format it into tabs. It would take me about half an hour to kind of get a forecast looking in a spreadsheet that looked like I could kind of understand and, 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 and get close to it. And the, the good news is I could do it. Now, was it scalable? No. As soon as I pulled it down, what always would happen was silly things like I'd pull it down and then we'd have a forecast call. And, you know, during the forecast call or 10 minutes before the forecast call, everyone makes changes to the forecast. All of a sudden we're talking about like, I'm saying, why is this deal here? And they're well, it's really not. I changed it. And I'm like, yeah, but I told you to change it, you know, as of last night and you didn't. So now we're, we're we spend all our time talking about like what the, the, the data versus like the deal. Right. The question is like, in my mind, is that where I want to be spending my time and how efficient is that process? Is there a better way? So it, I, I think to me, that's that's where it is. I don't know, Christine, what would you say? I, I think that's precisely what happened. It wasn't a problem when you have a couple of reps or yeah. you know a handful of reps, right? right? But as you multiply, it becomes harder and harder to keep track of that. So even minutes before, you know, I would have a panic attack because I want to make sure that the spreadsheet is accurate, but but it isn't. So earlier he mentioned we're over 20 reps now. Imagine how much more time we have to dedicate when you're quadrupling the number of Brutal. salespeople, right? So so that was just becoming unmanageable. But what I wanted to for Keith to have is not change the rhythm of what he did because he's He's got a rhythm. He he knows how to do this very well. He understands it, which is why I came to you because I knew you would work with us. I knew you would give us the visibility that we needed as we grow as an organization to be able to just start simple and not be complicated because we don't need complicated, but be able to have that visibility and then get comfortable with it as we go. And I could say I've never, before Boost Up, I've never done a forecast outside of a spreadsheet. I, and I always had Clary. I always had Salesforce. I've always had these tools. I, did, I, did, I just, I just did it. I just did it my way because what Christine was able to do with you guys that was critical for me to actually use it was give me the flexibility to kind of see the data the way I needed to see it.